Writing checks in 2015 is really easy. All you have to be is in a checking account and you can go up to transactions and choose write check or just hit command J and you'll have a new check ready to enter the information. I'll go through, I'll start entering data. Uh, let's see, I wrote this check to Scott Cook and it's gifts and donations and I send him a hundred dollars and then you go through down to the check and I've got the address already copied and pasted in my clipboard put the information in there let's say I want to put care of Scott Cook and let's put a memo down there we'll just put down gift and I can hit command J again to create a save this transaction and create a new blank check to write or just hit return if I'm done writing checks now that's pretty simple but there's a few things I want to point out I'm gonna go back into this check you can hit command option C to go directly to that check and there's a little check box here that says I will print this check you want to make sure that's selected actually if you go to show the check number column it's not shown by default you can see it right up there if it'll show print in that field if I remove it it'll blank out and that check won't be available to print so you want to make sure I will print this check is selected. So I'm ready to print this check. I'm going to close out of this window. And all you have to do is go up to File and choose Print Checks. And you'll see the check selected that you want to print. If you have more than one checks ready to, in the queue, you'll see more than one check. And you'll click on Print to continue to the Print dialog box. Now, a lot of people get confused because they see this short dialog uh, Mac OS print dialog and it doesn't show any of the information about how to choose the check number or the paper stock. If you click on show details then you can see to where to enter the starting check number and I like to use vouchers and if you have to adjust the alignment you'd go through that option right there but my alignment's correct so all I have to do is go and click print. After you finish printing your check you'll get a dialog box asking if the check printing was successful. If it was you click on OK or you can choose reprint and you can reprint another copy of the check. Notice that the check number will increment automatically for you. One tip, if you go back into the check after you printed it, you'll notice that it'll now have a little badge showing when it was printed. A few final things, if for some reason you don't see your check is available to print in the print queue and you know it is marked as to be printed, make sure you have the correct checking account listed in this pop-up. There I found that check to be printed out of the checking account. And one other thing is if you go in and you adjust the alignment and you do it on plain paper and everything works out correctly but when you go to print the check things become scaled or out of place. This tends to happen with inkjet printers and it's got an auto detect for the paper and it's detecting that check stock is photo paper. Now I have a laser printer here, but you probably want to go into something like media and quality and you'll find a way to force it to plain paper. You may have to do that so the printer doesn't auto detect and scale. Other than that, printing checks is really easy. Uh, doing it within Quicken is the easy part. Trying to get everything in order with your printer, that well, sometimes that can be more of a challenge. But once you get familiar with it, it's pretty easy. Good luck!